Today, you're going to be doing an experiment with a group of four people. So make sure you are in a group of four. You are going to be doing a land ice versus sea ice experiment. So what one person is going to be the land ice manager. You are going to be in charge of the land ice container. One person is going to be the data collector. You are going to be in charge of writing down all of the data on your worksheets. One person is going to be the timer. You're gonna keep time for your group and make sure that your group finishes on time. And one person is going to be the sea ice manager, meaning you are going to be in, in charge of the sea ice container. So when this video ends, the sea ice container manager and the land ice container manager are going to set up their containers while the timer keeps time and the data collector uh, makes sure that they are ready. So the sea ice container is going to be set up like this. We are going to have a container. Say this is container. Half of it is going to be clay. So you're going to put clay on the one of the sides. Then you're going to fill the other side with water. And this is sea ice. You're also going to put ice in this water. So ice plus water. You do not need a lot of ice. Then you are going to mark where the sea water rises to. So this is the side view. We have the container and we have the water. We are going to put a line on the container saying this it is where it starts. So the sea ice container manager is going to do this. So half clay half ice and water and mark the container. Now, the land ice is going to be doing something very similar. The land ice container manager, and this pen does not work, is going to be doing the same thing with clay on one half, and then you are going to put water on this half but instead of putting the ice in the water, you're going to put the ice on the land, which in this case is clay. So you're gonna put the ice on the land, and then you're gonna do the same thing with the water. You're gonna mark where the water is on the side of the container with a dry erase marker. Now, this is the land ice. Then you're going to go and put it under the one of the lamps that's on the side. I tried to grab it. One of the lamps on the side here, they're white lamps. These, put it under these. And then every 30 seconds, the timer is going to say, hey guys, it's 30 seconds, we should collect data. Then the land ice, container manager is going to measure how much the land ice water level rose. Tell the data collector, hey data collector, it rose one centimeter, then the data collector is going to write down one centimeter in the data table at on your worksheet. The sea ice container manager is going to do the same thing with the sea ice. They are going to measure with the ruler how far the water level rose Tell the data collector, hey, my water level rose two centimeters, and then the data collector is going to write down two centimeters on the data table on the worksheet. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. You have about, hopefully, six or seven minutes left to do this experiment, so please get started.